Hello, my creative friends. Yes, I called you creative because that's what you are. Usually, we think of creativity as painting or writing or singing, and that's true, and we can definitely be creative in those things. But there's so much more to creativity than just painting or music. Creativity is imagining what you could do because you're made in the image of God. You see, God's creativity is indescribable. It's limitless. It goes beyond what we could ever imagine. So if we're made in God's image, then we are creative. One way for you to be creative is to stand on up and get some creative moves going because we're about to start our worship video. job worshiping guys. Now, in the New Testament, we find quite a few letters written by a man named Paul. Paul wrote to believers in different churches, and he wanted to encourage them as they tried to follow Jesus. But side note about Paul, he hadn't always been a Jesus follower himself, but once he did decide to put his faith in Jesus, he made it his life's work to encourage others to believe it too. In fact, he traveled all over to teach people and share with them what it meant to follow Jesus. We're going to learn more about Paul in our so-and-so show today, so stick around. Hey, Brandon. Oh, hey, hey, John. Glad you're here. Did you notice how unseasonably cold it is outside today? Yeah. I'm having to knit a sweater so I won't freeze to death when I leave later. I'm trying to decide if I should change the pattern, you know, like, Knit one, purl two. <laughs> Saw that on a knitting show once. Don't know what it means. Anyway, that's what I'm trying to decide. You know they have a show for everything nowadays. I saw a show the other night about how to cut your cat's hair. Now, I don't have a cat, and I couldn't stop watching it. It was uh, relaxing, I guess. Anyway, what do you think I should do? Knit one, purl two, or keep the pattern the same? <laughs> Knit one pearl too. Why don't you take your jacket off? Stay a while. 
Here, you dropped your glass. I really hate knitting. Hey everybody, I'm Brandon. And I'm John, and welcome to the So and So Show. John, why don't you tell the folks at home what we're doing today? Beats me, it's up to you, Brandon. <laughs> Seriously, though. Yeah. Uh, this was your week to plan the guests, so. No, 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 no. It was definitely your week to come up with a game. No, 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 Okay, so what do you have planned for us today, Brando? Oh, yeah, that's it. What, you really don't have anything planned today? No! Ah. Oh, man! So, uh, oh, you know what, you know what? Never fear, this always works. Oh, right? okay, go. Do this. Please welcome to the show someone who knows stuff! Someone who knows stuff! Um, I don't, uh, oh, okay, 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 I've got it, let's play a game. All right. You know, believe it or not, there is some preparation that goes into the games that we play. There's usually rules, props, sometimes it has a name. Let's play What Do We Do on the Show Today? Uh, what do we do on the show today? Now we're just doing what we were already doing. Yeah, but now it's a game. Okay, listen, we're creative guys. We can, uh, we can come up with something, I'm sure, if yeah, we put our heads yeah, together. If only we, we had some sort of contraption with creative ideas on it that we could, you know, use on the show in an emergency situation like this. <sighs> Wait. Hey, you. Yes, you, with the horse head. I is that the wheel of ideas? It's too mean, yes? Yeah. Can we borrow it? All right. Thanks so much. Uh. All right. Our problems are solved, John. You're not even a little curious about... Nay, nay. We got the Wheel of Ideas. The Wheel of Ideas. All right. This game is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, here we go. Oh, where's it going to land? Where's it going to land? Make? Make up a story about a dog, a watering can, and an elf. And 10 seconds, go! Uh, 10 seconds, oh, okay. Uh, there was an elf who lived in a watering can, and one day a friendly dog came to say hello, but he accidentally knocked over the watering can with his big wet nose. Oh, and the elf got done, mad. done. Wow, time's up, a good story. Yeah, I was on the edge of my seat. I wanted to know what, what was gonna happen to that watering can. Okay, my turn, my turn. All right, here we go, ready? Spin it. Bake a pie with the first three ingredients you can think of. Okay, uh, uh, the first three ingredients are pickles, shredded cheese, and curry powder. Oh, you can't bake a pie like that, can you? Of course! Fast forward! Wow. Uh, you want the first bite? Sure. Uh, time to spin! All right, I'll do it. All right. Get that thing out of here. All right. Ready? <laughs> Sing a song about the weather. All right. Uh, uh, the weather is really fun when I can see the sun. When the clouds are out, it makes me want to pout. Oh, that's a nice one. I like the pout part. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Your turn. Go. Okay, here we go. Yep. <laughs> Invent an exercise that works out every muscle in your body. Oh, that should be easy. Challenge accepted. All right. All right, here we go. I need go some space. It. Ready? What about your feet? Oh. 
And your facial muscles. Don't forget your facial muscles. And your tongue. You'll be fully in shape in no time. All right, my turn. Draw a picture with your toes. Can I stop now? No, 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 no. I'm going to draw you. Oh, cool. All right. Hang in there, hang in there. Yeah, you're looking good. All right. Oh, I got a toe cramp. Got a toe cramp. Ow, ow. How do you like your portrait? Oh, that's great. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys. What's the story today? Well, it looks like you guys got a great head start on our topic because today we're getting creative. Very cool. Mm. And you know, there's a lot of different ways to be creative. Whoa, like cooking, for example. You see, creativity will come out of everyone differently. Like in music. I love how musicians create so many different types of melodies and play so many different types of instruments. Just music alone has a wide variety of creativity. Sports are creative too. You have to figure out creative ways to work together with your teammates. And then add a little fancy footwork. Woo! And you've got yourself a game. Then there's people who love science and use their creativity to invent things like medicines or cleaning products. Oh, architecture is incredibly creative. You like playing with Legos now, but you could be building skyscrapers someday. Karate! Now those are some creative kicks. Yeah. Artists! Artists use colors to create beautiful pictures that can tell stories and touch people's emotions. It seems like there's no end to people's creativity. You ever wonder why? Oh, wow, back to me again. Let's look at what the Apostle Paul wrote in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. He wrote, we are God's creation. He created us to belong to Christ Jesus. Now we can do good works. Long ago, God prepared those works for us to do. So there is a reason there are so many different ways to be creative. It's because you, me, and everyone you will ever know were created by a very creative God. And we can use our creativity to do good things, to love others, and to point people to Jesus. Pretty cool, huh? Really cool, Kellen. Yeah, this whole time I thought if you wanted to be creative, you had to know how to draw, and I am not good at that. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? Oh, it's John. Yeah, yeah, I, I can see that. Thanks. Thanks. But lucky for you, there are a ton more ways to be creative than just being good at drawing. That's great news. Mm -hmm. You just got to remember that God created us in his image, so it makes sense that some of his creativity is inside of us. That's awesome. Thanks, Kellen. Anytime. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Kellen. This looks nothing like me. Oh, sure it does. Sure it does. Hey, everybody. It's me, John, and I'm crazy. <laughs> see? It's hard to tell. All right, that. then. Reveal the question. Reveal the question. How are you creative? Oh, okay. Um, I'm creative because I can make people laugh. I can make people laugh. <laughs> and I'm good at making up stories. What about you? Yeah, whether you create something with your hands or your feet or you create solutions to problems in your mind. T talk about it together. How are you creative? And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Okay, make me laugh. Hey, look at me. I, see? You're hilarious. I can do all the exercises. Look at me. Yeah. I'm dancing. See, this is what it's like for me being with you all the time.
<laughs> ah! <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here's something we need to remember. The creativity God gives us isn't just about art and music. God has designed you in a unique way to love Him and to love others. And that's what Paul meant by good works. He meant that we can be unique and use our unique ways that God has designed us to show love to other people. For some people, those creative good works are things like drawing, songwriting, or painting incredible works of art. But for someone else, creativity might look totally different. Like building a robot, or designing cool apps and games, or making people laugh, or inventing 127 new uses for pool noodles. No matter how God made you creative, you can use that creativity to help others. But before you can use that creativity, you must believe in that creativity first. And I'm here to tell you that it's true. Our bottom line for today is God created you so that you can be creative. Maybe you're thinking, okay, now that all sounds great, but I still have no clue what I'm creative at. Well, think about things that you like to do. What are you naturally good at? Ask God to show you new ways to use your creativity to help those around you. God not only made you creative, but he wants to help you use that creativity. You can trust God no matter what, and you can always ask him for help. There are so many forms of creativity, just as there are so many different human beings. So don't judge your own creativity by what others do. Some of you might be great at visual arts, while others of you are great at solving problems. I bet someone in here is creative at communicating. You're good at helping others understand things. And someone else is probably pretty good at planning your birthday party or directing plays with your brother and sisters. The possibilities are endless. Now, for your activity today, what you're gonna need is a Bible and upbeat music. Go ahead and open your Bible and turn to Psalms 145, verse 3. What you're going to do for your activity is you're going to read that verse, and while your music is going, repeat that verse a bunch of different times and come up with a creative way to memorize it, whether that's through dance moves, through different motions, through maybe looking up the sign language for it, but go ahead and use all the creativity you can. God is amazing. And one way that God is amazing is how incredibly creative he is. He is so creative that he made you. And since God is so creative and amazing, he is worthy of praise. What is one way that you can praise God this week? Go ahead and think about that. And remember to praise God and remember that God created you so you can be creative. <laughs>